Hello fellow YouTube viewers, this is Nicola Lissa from Strilla Night Gamers. Recently I've been, let's say for about a year, I've been uh, playing Dungeons and Dragons. I'm still relatively new to it. I started enjoying it so much that I even got to my brother Chris into it. I've been acting as his dungeon master. I'm, I tend to be a little bit more focused on the story, but I do, but I do like uh, to use uh, miniatures, uh, along with a graded pattern, you know, to keep track of, of everyone. So, being because of that, because I need figurines to represent monsters and cre creatures and enemies of the like, I've uh, I've started an interest in painting them, and because I am a cheap steak, I've been purchasing. I've been purchasing uh, cheap figurines in bulk. This set I've recently gotten at Amazon for for like less than twenty dollars. Basically, features like a lot of monsters from Universal movies, uh, and there's Godzilla, so a little bit of Tohu. And um, my brother has lent me his uh, painting sets. So lately I've been like here. This was originally Frankenstein <clears throat> or Frankenstein's monster. I, I, I think you would still take the same surname. And I painted him to look like an orc. You all had to use a lot of imagination. Go uh, like right here. This one originally a wolf man. I've I painted as a goblin or this vampire that I have painted as a drow elf. Lately. I have just started painting figurines and as you can tell, I am still a bit of an amateur. But honestly, even if, I, even if I'm not that good at it, I find it to be quite therapeutic. And thought, hey, might be a, maybe it'd be a good way to relax a little. Might even be a good way to help you relax a little. So, I'm just going to do a, a, a little bit of painting. I'll put these back into the pile. I'm going to try painting uh, another the orc. I do not know know how long it will take, so let's let's find out. All right. I'll probably start with the skin. No, try to give him the same complexion as this guy. I'm going to use him as the base template, but I'm going to give him a different uh, color of clothing. And in case if you're wondering what this here is for, I'm actually listening to Gabriel Inglis as, uh, as, as a way to pass it to the time, have something in the background. Also, I apologize if at some random intervals I started laughing like a maniac. So, so I think I'm, I'm going to make uh, the skin hair color the same, maybe even the, the boots, you know, a little 
black boots. Hmm. I'll probably still I'll probably make it like a dark make the pants a dark brown. You know, maybe just in general make the colors a little bit make the clothing a little bit darker on, on this guy. Right. I'm gonna start with <clears throat> I'm gonna start with the skin. So which one? Okay, hooker screen. I think this was the same one that I, that I used not earlier. If you have, if any of you have advice on what I can do to improve my craft, I would greatly appreciate it in the comments. Normally what I do is I soak the paintbrush in water. Then I try my best to dry it off so it is not too damp. I dry it off. And as you can tell, I use a lot of newspaper for obvious reasons. I don't want the paint to stain my table. Okay. Alright, give it a light. Oh, geez, I, I got the wrong color green. Ah. Uh. I did use the wrong color. Yeah. Oh well. We can say that he's from. He's. We'll say that he's from a different region. I mean, this is probably on the spot, but I think I might as well name them. We'll call him Hector. This guy. We'll call him. Let's see. Hector. Henry. Might, might as well call him Henry. Probably not going to be that attached to him. I'm going to ha have him be slaughtered by my players, so who cares. Yeah, paintbrush is still damp, but... That won't be that much of a problem. I mean, I, I don't know if blowing uh, blowing air on Henry is going to make that much of a difference. 
Just uh, waiting for it, for the paint to dry up a little so I can put on the second coat. This is pretty cheap. The, these figurines are made out of pretty cheap plastic. I suspect they're probably a little bit porous because... Uh, excuse me. I need to put in an extra layer of paint or it looks, looks faded. Um, sorry, sorry, uh, that was because Gabriel just said something that I found funny. Okay. All right, so I'll just skin alone. I think that looks good. Oh, sorry, I am. I apologize for how weird that sounded. It's like it's like my voice cracked for a moment there. Uh, might as well put on. Might as well put in like a light layer. I mean, Henry might as well uh, look like his brother. Might as well make him a brun brunette as well. It's 
pretty difficult. Okay. Yep, I think it's uh, I think it's top is looking good. When it dries out, I'll, I'll try to put in a little bit of paint uh, on the eyes. Maybe maybe yellow paint. I'm gonna try using the really fine, the really fine brush. The brush that is so thin you can barely register it on on camera. I mean, I got some extra paint, uh, might as well use it. Yep, the, the, the Orcs may be savages, but at least so we dress up well. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess maybe that can be Henry's uh, character. He's a... Even though he is uh, fearsome and strong, you know, and an honorable warrior, he is also a bit of a fashion diva. Um, hmm. I think I'll mix the colors out a little for the for the pants. Might as well make a denim. Hmm. Uh, actually, not yet. Let's see if I can. He's put some detail to his eyes. Uh, no, nah, that, that paint has dried up. Um, might as well make it... I only...
And yes, I am using a toothpick as a brush. And yes, I am failing miserably at the eye detail. And yep, it looks terrible. Yeah, I could have done better. Let's let's just say that it's like eyeshadow or something. That is very bright. I'll try again later. Let's see. Uh, hooker screen. It's probably named that after a guy with what was the surname? When it dries, I'll, I'll, I'll paint uh, the eyeshadow again. I'll, I'll, I'll just leave it as it is. Maybe it doesn't need to be that detailed. Excuse me. Right, my idea is to mix in a little bit of cobalt blue. No, oh, dang it, too much. I just wanted a small dot. Mix it in with just a little bit amount of gray. And of which I can't sense. Okay, there we go. Okay, mix it up a little. Okay. Now that looks like a denim color. Is this a little bit? Okay, starting with the pants. <laughs> uh, sorry that I'm still listening to stand up comedy. The guy, uh, the guys, I find him amusing. Okay. Right. 
I uh, should let that dry for a little bit before I put on another coating. I think the color is coming out pretty well. It definitely looks like denim. Uh-huh. Nothing important. Getting into all the nooks and crannies to make sure it's the best it can look. Quite proud how the pants have turned out. What do you think? Suitable enough for the shears to cat in the log? I think so. Let's see. Um, what color would something in the medieval way just be? I mean, just for the fun of it. It's, Might as well make his inner shirt uh, purple. And he is a diva. So might as well have him look the part. Show that he has he has standards with how he dresses. Hector here is his brother who is embarrassed uh, by how fashionable and how extra his his older brother and Henry is. Okay, with the brush, try it off.
Yeah, I am definitely going to need to apply several coats. His undershirt is a little bit exposed uh, back here. So, might as well put some paint there too. Might as well paint there too. Very lightly and very carefully. These jeans look good and I do not want to stain them. Yeah, it's a nice way to know that the, the paint dried. I guess stop doing that. Keep on touching wet spots. Hmm. This paint is not staying on. I can't seem to get the paint to stick. I'm starting to think maybe, maybe the brush is too damp. Now I'm having difficulty figuring out what I should paint the jacket. Might as well move on to working on the jacket. Let's see, the violet's a pretty dark color as well, so maybe maybe make the jacket a little bit a slightly lighter color. Cerulean blue, I am probably not pronouncing it right. I think I'll mix it in a little bit. It's a small amount. Mm. It's not as bright as I thought it would be. Let's see. Titanium white. Where's... These names are pretty weird. Okay, a little bit of white. Okay, there we go, there we go. That should be enough. It's a different uh, shade of blue. I can guarantee that.
Okay, that, that extra dollop of white certainly helped. Now it doesn't look... It is blue, like these jeans, but it's a slightly lighter shade of blue. So now, there's a huge uh, color... So now there's a color contrast between the two. Damn it. Uh, okay, good, good, good. Uh, the leftover paint uh, was too dried up to do anything. Thank goodness. The paint did not dry up soon enough. Hey, jacket is done, and I'm quite proud how it turned out. He's got. He kind of reminds me of like an ogre, Chuck Norris, or maybe something like someone like like that. All right, definitely. 
This thing I want to do is get rid of that ugly eyes. Damn it. Uh, I have re I've really got to stop doing that. There's still some yellow shadow there. It's not too much. All right, so Henry the Ogre is done. So I'll bid uh, I will bid you good night.